Hey guys, welcome back. It's the Rambling Movie Minutes, our small piece of the internet where we take a moment to ramble about some movies. And now our main rambler, the Rambling Mango, Malango. Nice, Mike. I need some music. That was, to a, good, go that was a good tongue twister. I need some music to go along with that, don't I? Yeah, I like the way you like you just you're just shooting bullets there, dripping <laughs> sweat. I got this. I got this. You got this. We got this. What's wrong with this It's fine. It's fine. So let it go. So tell me. So tell me, man. What's going on in the movies this week? All right. Yeah. Let's uh, let's just do the quick rundown. Uh, so the movie weekend lineup. We had Lone Survivor uh, that took the uh, box office lead this weekend. Seventy three percent. Um, pulled in about nineteen point six. This is the military movie. The uh, this generation's um, saving or not saving Private Ryan, uh, Black Hawk Down. Yeah, <laughs> this gen- uh, that, that would have been interesting. Um, awesome movie. If you haven't seen it, definitely go see it. Uh, definitely for me, I said personally, it pulls up some questions about you know just ethical stuff, but in terms of like what this movie is about, I think it was really well done. Uh, second movie, Frozen. Frozen's still hanging in there, fourteen point seven percent. Oh, wait, that's not, that's wrong. Sorry. $14.7 million. Uh, but yeah, I know it got a lot. I think it's an 80 something percent. How many weeks is this for frozen? Um, this is now eight weeks, but it's, it's still in the top five at least. Mm -hmm. This is eight weeks. Not bad. Real Uh, good for a Disney movie. Like we talked about last week. Yeah. It's still going strong. So, um, number three, uh, the solid number three movie was The Legend of Hercules, which was interesting. But I kind of just rounded three, four, and five all together mm-hmm. because they all made roughly the same amount of money. Hmm. And two of them have been on the – two of them have been you know, in the runnings already for a couple weeks, The Wolf of Wall Street, American Hustle. And this being the first week for Legend of Hercules, which only brought in a whopping – it was <laughs> – yeah, four percent from the critics. The critics must have been throwing up while they watched this movie. They must have just hated it, which is interesting because I chose not to see it, so I don't know what that says about me. I can't but fans, imagine. I can't imagine this being worse than Clash of the Titans. I yes, that I am not sure about. Just on that point alone, I think I would have to like, I'd probably bleed watching both of those side by side. That in itself would be a great torture tactic. Um, <laughs> yeah, this movie. Only made 8.9, 8.9 million. I believe it was an eighty-five or eighty million dollar budget to produce this movie. Jeez. So they did not even make ten percent, or maybe they just scratched ten percent. That would suck. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine greenlighting this movie and then oh, it's great, great visuals, great everything. I love the story. It's Hercules. We can't go wrong. And then, yeah. And notice this is the one of two Hercules movies coming out this year. Yeah. Yeah. So um, I really think this is the one that was supposed to go straight to video, maybe, Uh, or something. It's great. Um, You know, make its money back on the Hercules and the Sunday sci-fi showings, I'm sure. Uh, Maybe. Maybe. Just the, the, what is it, the TNT straight to movie Friday night releases? (laughs) Exactly. Exactly. (laughs) So uh, the big news, or at least the news that everybody was talking about, was the Golden Globes. Uh, It seems like the big thing that happened last week, or this Sunday. Um, I actually did not watch the entire Golden Globes. I don't um, think any sane man can. Yeah, I... (laughs) Tina Fey and... um, Amy... uh, Amy Poehler. Amy Poehler. It's it's a lot simpler than it looks. (laughs) Yeah. I mean, seeing how much I like her on um, Parks Parks and Rec, Rec, I should definitely know her name, right? (laughs) Uh, Yeah, they are What were they doing? What what were they doing here on the Golden Globes? Because I know I've seen it. uh, uh, Everybody's tweeting about it. Everybody's talking about it on Monday morning. What happened? Oh, they're just hilariously funny. They made jokes, like they spread the jokes everywhere. Um, one of the jokes that they made were the fact that uh, they they made a joke about Hollywood. And if you look in the second link that I sent you, uh, put that on your show page so people can go to it. It's because it's, it was an awesome, it's basically their opening skit. But they make a joke about how Hollywood had nothing better to do this year. And when they have something good, they bleed it to death until uh, 
and then told nobody, but told people hate it. Mm. Basically, making the joke that they were the host last year. <laughs> so <laughs> it's like it, they're just really funny. I I enjoy them as female comedians. Um, but yeah, they 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 took jabs at everybody. Uh, Amy actually messed up Tom Hanks' name. <laughs> she called him Tom Hunks, which I haven't been able to figure out if that was on purpose or not. But a lot of fun. They had a lot of a lot of vagina jokes, which was interesting. But um, yeah, let's like if you take a look at the Golden Globes. I mean, I, this isn't like I'm kind of beating the bush with this. Every movie that was in the running came out in the last two three months. It seems like that's what they do now. You know, like you kind of just stack your movie for November, December, and those are your nominees for Golden Globes. Twelve Years a Slave, in my personal opinion, it got best. It got best motion picture. I felt like there are just a lot of uh, guilty consciences out there. Aww. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, Matthew McConaughey. I have not seen uh, Dallas Buyers Clubs, but again, keeping in that trend, movies that win are movies that nobody knows about, and then. They all come out in theaters well, for the out. next Did, like month. What is what is the like, Golden Globes? How how are they selected? This isn't a people choice. Is this? It's not the Academy or anything like that. Uh, who 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 selects these? I believe this is the uh, the foreign Hollywood's Foreign Press Association. So really, <laughs> what that means? I'm not really sure. I wish I could be in that circle though. Right, that'd be cool. Right, exactly, exactly. So, excellent. Um, uh, so, what? Anything else come out of this? I mean, just I, I don't know. Personally, for me, like, I'd love to hear what people out there like other opinions. Going around, like, reading the news on, on the Golden Globes, and it, it seems like the the general feeling overall is like Hollywood just didn't really care. Like, they, it seemed like a very lack of base, like a very just like, oh, yeah, I won. Thank you. And using the opportunity to kind of like pad their future and not so much like a lot of, I guess, a lot of people missed like thanking their own like co-stars and like directors. It was directed more to like, like Leonardo DiCaprio completely forgot to thank Jonah Hill, like his co-star, and ended up thanking the people that funded the movie. So it was like a weird like twist and a lot of like, I guess they said the teleprompter wasn't working. So a lot of uh, people went up to, to receive their awards and present the next show or present the next movies and would just have to ad lib it. And it was like a very awkward type show. So I don't know. It's, since I didn't see it, I can't really equate. I'm just like, this is what I've been reading on the news on, on it. And I was just like, eh, you know what? I don't really care. I like I pre- I personally prefer just the movies. I could care less about these award shows, but since I review movies, I guess I should re- should care, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Um, excellent. All right. Anything else, or we can move on here. No, let's move on. I mean, it's a pretty slow. Week, I, I'm so but... I, I I'm not into award shows. It's it's they're they're so like self serving, and I don't even know care about who they serve and 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 we laugh at how bad they are in the long run and and i don't know but they they, yeah. are, they are part of the industry though yeah i mean honestly i think the sundance awards are a lot more because those are people trying to break into the industry and i feel like those movies are more compelling and usually probably you know have a more impact behind the story that they're trying to convey and tell mm-hmm. than some of these not saying that that i mean like there are a lot of good movies I, I heard Dallas Buyers Club was good. I liked the American Hustle. I thought Gravity was good. So I mean, there are there are a lot of good movies here. It just I don't know. It's weird. Even more weird, actually, just real quick because I just forgot something about this whole thing. So they showed the best TV series, and Brooklyn Nine Nine actually won really? a couple things. Really? Yeah. Best actor. So Andy Samberg won, and also they won the overall best TV series. In, in, uh, in, like in, in over, like we're both in overall, or like I can't see 
that 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 really kind of blows my mind. Yeah, well, overall for best TV series, they were up against Big Bang Theory, which I I mean I was one of the late bloomers. I still don't really watch it, but mm -hmm. when I do watch it, there's some jokes that make me laugh. I really enjoy Girls, but yeah, Modern Family and Parks and Recreation. So I don't know. I don't understand. I don't, I don't What's think the criteria that, here because you, you have girls in there, which is an HBO show. And then you have like, it looks like all, you know, everyday uh, network ones. Like, like I feel like there's so much better stuff. Why isn't something from AMC on there with as much stuff as it has going on? This is true. I mean, yeah. It's best TV. Okay. So music or comedy, best TV series for musical or comedy, even still, Girls, I didn't consider girls funny at all. <laughs> it was just very like yeah, it looks it looks pretty depressing from the from the previews that I've seen. It, it was a very depressing season. Mm -hmm. I I picked Martin Family or Parks and Rec well before Brooklyn Nine Nine. Oh, yeah. I mean, to be honest, I'll okay. I will say that in Andy Samberg's credit, well, I don't know if this is in in his credit. He got a lot of crap on the roast of um. Uh, I can't remember his name. James Franco? Uh, Franco, yeah. He got a lot of crap on that roast of James Franco about Brooklyn Nine-Nine and him leaving Saturday Night Live to basically try and headline this show by himself. But their supporting cast is funny. Mm. So I'll give them that. Like, yeah, don't they have Terry Crews on that show? I think so. Like, like I will follow Terry Crews to about any project because I think he's hilarious. Yeah, I mean, like it's. I mean, they have a lot of they have a lot of people on the show that hold their own. I think in terms of comic relief. I think the uh, I don't remember the secretary's Good point. name. Good point. Cra I'm sorry. Kraus in the chat room is saying uh, maybe the foreign press can't get AMC. <laughs> well, I don't know. Breaking Bad did win in drama. Okay. But doesn't that seem like a given? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> definitely. And I guess the big news was um, House of Cards still winning awards, too. Mm -hmm. so, I believe this is the first Golden Globe for Netflix. Yeah. Because this yeah. is the first time, because uh, they actually premiered in February, so this is the first time they would have been in. Uh, and they're coming back in in February 14th, of course. So, so yeah, let's move on. I'm done with this Golden Globes <laughs> talk. All right. You got some movies here lined up that you caught, huh? Yeah, so, I mean, I think I reviewed some of the movies that came out this weekend already last week, so I should do a better job at that, of letting, not giving away too much stuff, but, you know, whatever. Um, these are the movies that I did watch that have come out in the past. The Bling Ring, I checked that out. This is uh, Emma Stone, based on true story of basically some spoiled high school kids who decide to rob the rich because the rich are stupid and they put their keys underneath their mats. <laughs> okay. But, uh, I mean, big name people were, um, Paris Hilton. Um, I can't remember the other hot bond from mean girls. Come on, Mike, help me out. Lindsay Lohan. Lindsay Lohan. I am one of the only few people I think, well, I'm not going to say that. I think Lindsay Lohan's attractive. Mm hmm. In her orange jumpsuit that she's rocking out in prison with, you know, sure. I could dig it. Sure, <laughs> Bling Ring. Um, that's an interesting movie. The reviews, actually, the <laughs> I use Rotten Tomatoes not as like you know, <laughs> they're not the god of reviews or whatever. They're not the go-to for everything when it comes to their ratings. But uh, I thought this was a funny movie when you look at the comparison to the critics versus the viewers. The critics actually sat through this movie, and six out of ten people said, you know what, I can dig it. And then you look at the, the user reviews, and people are like, no, this is crap. What the hell? Why did you, why did you force us to sit through this? So it's, it's not really more – it's more like a – mockumentary documentary because it's based on a true story mm -hmm. but emma stone's character is is crazy people like that make me think white people are all crazy um grudge match 
<laughs> Sorry, Mike. That comes out sometimes. Okay. Yeah, sure. <laughs> that's the kind of show we're running here. Uh, Grudge Match. That's the one with um, uh, De Niro. De Niro and Stallone. Stallone. Yes, Stallone. Um, this movie. Oh, Kevin Hart is freaking hilarious for what he plays in this movie. Okay. But it makes me think that Kevin Hart is basically, I don't know if he's part of the process of any of these movies or why he's being picked for these movies, but I don't think he's given a script. I think he's just ad-libbing his way with the joke. Like, all of the jokes sound like he wrote them, mm-hmm. that he, like, <laughs> so, but whatever. I, I like Kevin Hart. I think it's hilarious. So, uh, But in terms of, like, this movie... I think this is like an old people movie. I mean, they're they're both old. It's not bad. It oh my gosh, it talks up Pittsburgh like crazy. I've noticed in the glory shots here, and this is the first I've seen it because I guess I've only seen TV ads for it. Wow, yeah, that, that's some good pick. That's some good views there, Pittsburgh. It was it was supposed to be filmed in Pittsburgh, mm-hmm. but it wasn't, which makes it even weirder because there's uh. some there's some good movies that have done a good job of portraying like you know the characters within within the actual, like, so, you know, environment. So you're telling me but, that they, they just did the, um, we're going to shoot the exteriors in Pittsburgh and we're going to go Hollywood the rest of this. Ex- yes, the exteriors, yeah. Because even uh, the shot, they talk about the Consult Energy Center, where they're going to be having the, the big fight, and they don't even, I don't even think they got shots of that mm-hmm. accurately. And they were also talking about the Pit Panthers, one of the guys is a coach for the Pit Panthers, or one of the characters is a is a assistant coach for the Pit Panthers. Mm-hmm. And I'm saying they're like the Pit Panthers practice at Heinz Field. That stadium in the movie looks like it's in Michigan. Oh, somewhere. wait, wait, wait. They don't they don't actually practice at Heinz Field. The Steelers uh, don't well, even, I think the it's Steelers don't even they, practice. It might be, I don't know. You're right. They might not practice at Heinz Field, yeah. but they don't practice. I don't actually. I can't attest to where they practice. It, <laughs> it might be. It might be where the Steelers practice. To be honest, it could be. Because, it honestly could be, which is down on on South Side, and it is like just yeah. a little field with some stands, and it looks like a high school, uh, a small high school stadium. To be honest, so yeah. You know, I mean, so but I mean, the stadium that they they portray in the movie is not like that at all. Okay, it literally looks like. The, uh, the Buffalo Bills stadium where everything can come caves down into like a, like a pit. It doesn't look like Pittsburgh at all. So Even, you're telling me Gotham looked more like Pittsburgh than, the, than Pittsburgh. Oh movie. gosh. Gotham looks so much more <laughs> like Pittsburgh, but you know, whatever. I, this is a movie that if you like these guys, I think you, you should go see it. Um, I'm not going to hate on the movie because I thought it had, it's good. It had very good moments. Mm-hmm. So, uh, what's the last movie that I saw? Oh, <laughs> yeah, I'm laughing. Rest in peace, department. I almost rented this the other day. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I didn't. We just didn't get a chance. But but it's with, on with the Jeff Bridges and I, Ryan Reynolds. I'm interested. That I got to see this because I'm curious about the concept. I man, I have this weird like man crush on Ryan Reynolds. And I will, like, see, like, almost any movie that he's in. Mm-hmm. But I feel like I should stop doing that. <laughs> <laughs> like, maybe maybe this is your Ryan, Ryan Reynolds, uh, uh, as in my Nicolas Cage 8mm moment, where, where I would go see anything <laughs> Nicolas Cage was in, then, and then I'm like, oh, he doesn't do bad movies. Then you see 8mm, you're like, oh, I took a date to this. Oh, you know, and now you're, like, kind of... Uh, it's a Nicolas Cage movie. What are we getting out of this? Ghost yeah. Rider, really? I don't know. It, it, I don't get in Jeff Bridges. Like, and that's the thing that, like, I these are the kind of moments where I, I just want to be a fly on the wall when this project <laughs> got greenlit and when they were like, we have two great actors for this. Because Jeff Bridges from The Big Lebowski, he was awesome in Iron Man, he was awesome in True Grit, and he was awesome in Tron. And then we have this. Where people are hitting on him because when he comes back to Earth, he looks like a very hot blonde woman. Jeff Bridges, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. That's all we got. Yep. So, yeah, um, I don't know, Mike. I, I have no idea. I would say go see it, but at the same time, 
everything action in it quickly becomes like ruined by them throwing in a, a stupid love interest subplot. Did, they don't really explain Jeff Bridges' past character except for he died in the Wild West. That whole explanation is just weird. Mm -hmm. I don't <laughs> Yeah, interesting movie. That's one that I would that's one that I would say you put it on your Netflix queue for DVDs. And then you get surprised when it comes in the mail. <laughs> oh, look at this. I got this Jeff Bridges movie. It's supposed to be good, right? Ah, <laughs> yeah. that's going back in the mail. Ah, no, no. Or, I, I'll see it when it comes on HBO or something, I'm sure. Yeah, or that. So, you wait I for mean, HBO. Or like, because it's a coaster. Street. You know, they've been having some really good – can I talk about one? Actually, I did see a movie over the weekend. I saw two, actually. Um, 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 The Last Stand with Arnold Schwarzenegger. Okay. I have not seen that. Did you that like was, that? Uh, that was way better than I expected. Come on! It's got uh, it's got the girl from uh, Thor, not Natalie Portman, the one that pay, plays uh, one of the As Asgardians. Uh, the one that they've been talking about would make a great Wonder Woman lately. Um, it, yeah. it, it, it's really kind of a force. Whitaker is in it. Um, the basis is there is a, a, a cartel guy that gets away. From, there's this big plan to spring him from the FBI, and they steal him a really really fast Camaro to, to so he can drive really 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 fast because apparently he's driven a race car once. His life uh, from Las Vegas to uh, Mexico, and they happen to have a way out of the country, which happens to be in the small town where Arnold Schwarzenegger, who just happened to be in narcotics in LA before he became a small time sheriff. How convenient. How convenient. You know, um, sadly, what turned me off to that movie was Johnny Knoxville. Really? There's not much Johnny Knoxville. There's really very light Johnny Knoxville. Like, I got, like, halfway through the movie. I'm like, I thought Johnny Knoxville was, like, one of the names on this, right? Yeah, um, why did they – he was, like, the big prominent one in the previews. He was because those were the funny moments. But, no, it was good. It was, it's, if, you, if you enjoy Arnold Schwarzenegger-type movies and you are – completely okay with things going really interest like really weird at the end <laughs> as some of these movies do um because you know i and, and there's no spoilers this you know it's going to come down to arnold schwarzenegger fisticuffing with the bad guy right even though yeah. even though this guy has an army and this guy is like old you know this is happening right and it happens and you're I'll completely happy about it then i watched silent hill too and that wasn't as nice of an experience no, that was mm, not. That was rough. That was rough. Compared that, to the first one, the oh, first yeah. one was so much better. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they were trying. They were trying really hard. Um, but, yeah. Uh, it's yeah. Fine. Somebody, it's fine somebody made one. me watch that it's because fine. of the, the effect. Now, I never played much of the Silent Hill movies. I oh, would, would just stumble around, get killed by something that scared the heck out of me, and there's a lot of fog, <laughs> and that's all I know. Right? Uh, so I was very pleased by the first one, and I liked that the second one actually like touched on, like, one I was a little bit familiar from friends playing it with uh, Silent Hill 3. Um, yeah. But please don't make another one. Please. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Just like, oh my God, really? How many Resident Evils can you make? You know? Oh, that's it's, true. It's, it's, that's it's true. What, what number are we at with Resident Evil? They gave Five? up on numbers. They, they, what, what? Oh, they gave up on numbers? That was Apocalypse, just like... Redemption, Extinction. <laughs> I don't even know what version of the end of days we're at at this point. Oh, um, man. But with Resident that, Evil, Red Snow. Oh, oh there we go. Um, yeah. So tell me, what's coming up in the movies here this week? Oh, what is coming up in the movies this week? That's a good question. Hey, Jack Ryan, Shadow Recruit. This is this the, is the this is the Hunt for Red October guy, right? No. <laughs> I mean, this is the Tom Clancy of Patriot oh, Games. Yes, it's this Tom is this Clancy. guy. This is like young this guy. Again, he's played by Captain Kirk, which is sure. Yeah, I, I, I guess that's I'm who I was like, that. Star Trek Captain Kirk. Um. Yeah, I don't know. I am mildly interested. I have free passes for this tomorrow. So I have one pass. If you tweet me, maybe I will let you come with me. What night's that? Tomorrow night. Oh, no, no I got my nephew playing, doing um, wrestling. But yeah, like, I don't know. I'm mildly interested in that one. I am. But, I, we watched the trailer yesterday, and, and, and it's it looks like a good action flick. I, I don't know if it's a theater-worthy, but um, I think that's one I, uh, we would definitely enjoy watching here. Yeah. Also, you got Ride Along, which is another Kevin Hart movie, Can I, and Ice Cube. <laughs> so so I, told, I mentioned briefly... Um, on Waze, they have Waze is a GPS on your on your smartphone. You can get and they pop down. And sometimes you get these little ads, right? Um, yeah. I had this thing pop down for ride along. I was like, oh, get Kevin Hart to give you directions on your Waze. Oh, Don't you got do Kevin it. Hart. 
Don't do it. Don't do it. It's like it was like like five minutes of this thing. It's like take a lift now. It's like no, no, no. And, and, that, and that was it. It was just him yelling at you to turn one way or, or another. Um, it that is was, awesome. It was horrible and the most like stereotypical like like black voice that that, that you know. And like why is my phone yelling at me? Then I left it on <laughs> and when I went went in and I'm like and my phone's yelling at me again to take a left. You know. Um, oh, stop it, it, don't do me, it. Kevin if you Hart. ever see that come up on your ways, do not hit that button. Stop it. I, I would have Stop accepted it. Ice I, you, I think Ice Cube would have been really great for a GPS. Uh, what, uh, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. And finally, it's a nut job. Which... What is this? Yes. As it... Hey, Mike, I think the link that I have on there is wrong for you. Yeah, because so we went to another up. ride-along, so I, I'm not exactly sure. I'll, I'll bring it up. Yeah, but we have uh, the lead... <laughs> oh, Catherine Heigl. That's so sad. So voice <laughs> actors. We have her. We have Liam Nielsen. We have Will Arnett. Brendan Fraser. <laughs> Stephen Lang, the bad guy from uh, from Avatar, or the general from Avatar. Okay. Bas- basically, I don't – This, yeah, whatever. This is uh, – what's uh, the studio that's doing this? I – don't think I've ever heard of. Uh, yeah, I just saw him pop up in the trailer. Yeah, I've never heard like Redbox or Router or something like that. It's uh, yeah, this is a this is a new studio, but I guess you're gonna see a lot of these popping up, right? Yeah, I mean, with the, let's be honest, with the way technology is going, it's definitely opening up the doors for a lot more of these studios to break in. Yeah, which in all honesty is good, but it tends to oversaturate the animation market. Which then makes people dilute the product. So, I mean, I like animations, and I probably will not see this just because. <laughs> it's just another dude. Just being a cartoon, being 3D animated, it doesn't make you special. You have to be a, a despicable me too uh, a, a, in order to actually be somewhere with it, right? Yeah, yeah. So. But, I mean, I do commend the effort, and we'll see what they do. Awesome. Hey, from the chat room, we did get some comments here. Uh, Chachi says, da, 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 uh, you were talking about Ryan Reynolds, I knew we'd get a comment from Chachi about this. Uh, he says, uh, and he's yelling at this in all caps, I will not. Uh, I've watched Ryan Reynolds act alone in a box for two hours. <laughs> and that speaks to his man crush on uh, Ryan Reynolds. Um... <laughs> I I like I I like Ryan Reynolds. I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I'm probably weird. I probably like his humor stuff more. Like his uh, romantic comedies are probably better than his act. Like Green Lantern was just weird. And a lot of people hated Green Lantern. Could have been better. Could have been better. All right, yeah. Malango. So. Uh, if people want to talk movies with you and tell you how wrong you are, like Chaka yeah. does here in our chat room here every Tuesday night live at 5:30 p.m. Uh, live.sorgatronmedia.com. Where else can they find you on the internet? At uh, the Rambling Mango on Twitter. Hit me up there with questions. I I'm actually going to start posting um, free movie passes that I receive. I'll, I'll post links on that. So follow me on on Twitter and uh, yeah, if you come you come hang out with me, uh, go see some free movies. But yeah. Awesome. With that, for Malango, I'm Sorg. We're over at Sor- I'm at Sorgatron. You can check out all the shows and everything at SorgatronMedia.com. Uh, look us up. Hey, we are now on Stitcher. So if you go to Stitcher.com, you can look us up, or if you download the app. Uh, we're going to look into getting this probably on Spreaker here soon as well. And, of course, you can find us on iTunes and YouTube at the Sorgatron Media page for the moment. Uh, we'll be breaking this off to its own YouTube uh, very, very soon, so keep an eye out for that. But, of course, SorgatronMedia.com for all the links and the postings for this episode and information. And I did tweet your uh, Golden Globes video of uh, Tina Fey and a- Amy Poehler uh, to the Sorgatron Media Twitter. Uh, so nice. go check that out here. Uh, for that video as well. So with that, thanks, Malango. We'll see you guys next time on The Minute.